Pocket Watch Podcast. I'm Zach. Cruz. Jake. Teron. Hey. Hey. I know y'all heard that switch up. I know y'all heard that switch up. As always, we do got another guest up in the building today. Mr. Teron Mallard. Uh, tight end, Bethune Cookman, D1 athlete, number three, number one in your hearts. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but Teron, uh, this is... This is going to be a good episode, man. We got, like, a uh, freaking Central Florida uh, local. Went to Point Siena High School. We played against him once. It's dope. My man has succeeded. Went to Bethune-Cookman. Did his thing. Balled out. We got stories on that. Um, just finished. Got finished with his bachelor's and his master's degree. Um, and he's now going through the undrafted process, trying to make it into the NFL, man. This is a good... Good episode, good journey to to check in on, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, man. Excited Thanks for coming through, here. bro. Yes, bro. Thank you, bro. Thanks for coming through, man. Uh, so let's let's start from the <clears throat> beginning, bro. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, I w- I just want to ask, uh, because none of us are D one athletes, right? Like we wish we were, you know. <laughs> uh, how? So you graduated what year? Twenty sixteen. Graduated twenty sixteen. So class of twenty sixteen from high school, right? Graduated from high school twenty sixteen. Uh-huh. Uh, how was that process of like you know because you're in Point Siena, there's not a lot of D1 recruits, right? Like here and there, like maybe one or two here and there, especially yeah. for football, right? Uh-huh. Like that's a whole different thing. How was that process getting drafted, bro? Um, the getting drafted, yeah. getting recruited, oh, getting recruited. <clears throat> um, so <laughs> I actually like the first school that ever talked to me was the University of Florida. Um, University of Florida. I grew up like loving Tim Tebow. Uh, they just always was like somebody I looked up to, like a school, like my dream school. Then Auburn came. I love Cam Newton. I yeah. played quarterback in high school, <laughs> so like everything was working out for like the greatest, like the greatest way possible. Everything was working out, and uh, came and this is my, like junior senior year. Nah, or? This is like sophomore year. <laughs> sophomore. Year. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you was a big boy when you were <laughs> playing your sophomore year. Yeah. yeah. So like my sophomore year, like all these big schools is reaching out and. Like, nobody would pull the trigger, but it was because of my, my scores, my test scores. Like, GPA mm. and everything was great, but, like, my test scores suck. Um, so you said your up, GPA was good, but your yeah, test scores suck? Test scores was horrible. Ah. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's crazy, What you mean, like, bro. FCAT or something? No, like, nah. a- SAT, not, ACT. SAT, SAT, yeah, yeah, not FCAT, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's like, your FCAT? <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, like, what does we talk about? These were the scores we were worried about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, kind of nothing, like, that's like a reading exam for I those that to, don't know. I ain't had to take that out there in my sophomore year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you shouldn't have. You yeah. should. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they be struggling. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my fiance. She was taking her senior year. Right. And Big Mike, shout out. Right, too. <laughs> People be taking that thing forever, bro. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so you was getting you was getting I'm looked getting, at. GPA I'm, was good, but the the test scores. When did you have yeah, to take it, it though? Like, since you was back. getting looked at because I was getting looked at so early. It was just like. <clears throat> take it in the tenth grade, like take it. Damn, and I was, uh, took it and made like a really, really low score because I just took it just to take it. So yeah. I didn't take it serious. You didn't study and, for it and shit, prepare for it. Yeah, I ain't do none of that. Yeah. So like, I had probably like the worst score ever, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. But. Bro, mid exam where you're like, what the fuck am I looking at right here? I did that shit my senior year, and I thought <clears throat> I was all right, and I was like, bro. My scores were bad too, bro. Just so you know, like, that's just such a dumb way of trying to yeah. pick out. And who's just going. and just imagine like the level of classes that you take, like from your tenth grade up to your twelfth grade. You know what I mean? Like you're not yeah, even learning some of the math nah, formulas bro. that you need to fucking learn. Or like test taking skills, just yeah. just basic yeah. shit. Yeah, that sucks, bro. But all that stuff don't even matter though. Nah, like no. later on in life. But yeah, this man got a master's now, so this puts in perspective of like yeah. <laughs> what it actually means. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, exactly, yeah. bro. But yeah, um, the recruiting process. So I ended up going JUCO. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is I, yeah, like football is not, I never woke up and like, was just like, yeah, I'm gonna be a football player. Never was mm, my dream. Yep. Never. Really? Yeah, never. So That's you didn't even like. Never. Growing up, man, I'm from North Carolina. I wanted to be a McDonald's All-American and a Tar Heel. Like that's all I ever wanted to do. That okay. was my dream. And you, root, I, I mean, I follow you on social media. You root for the Tar Heels hard. For they sure. they did good in the the basketball. Surprisingly, team. yeah, they Surprising. did great. Like did even great. when we didn't think we was gonna do good, we made it to the finals this year. Yeah, like, shout out. Tar yeah, Hills. that was fire. For real, but um, yeah, it was just like I never woke up and wanted to be a football <laughs> player. It's, it's just not something I wanted to do. But um, so I quit. I quit my freshman year of college when I went to Tyler Junior College. They tried to, like, we got a new coaching staff, and they tried to make me a tackle. Mm. And I'm like, at my position, I'm 
more talented than anybody that we have Hold on up. the roster. Out of tackle? So sophomore year, you get all these looks. Because of the test scores, that, that shit falls off? Yeah. Heavy. Um, wow. So I ended up getting recruited by Florida. Florida, like like you said, like football is not known, and neither is JUCO football is known, like being in our area. So I knew nothing about JUCO football. Yeah. So I missed that part. Um, and I you didn't getting, really have any like OGs trying to like like nah, walk you through it. From Poinciana, yeah, that's yeah. 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 high school. Exactly. <laughs> like I'm, I'm it. Like I'm, I'm like the first to to like be going through this process that I know of. Damn, bro, um, that's so, so it's true. It that just like, goes to show how important like that mentorship. Yeah, like, and huge. you know now more than ever with all the yeah. people that you're involved with now. Yeah, it's like imagine you had that type of mentorship back your sophomore junior year. For sure. Yeah, anyways, I wouldn't even be. Yeah, that's what I was but I don't regret any of it. So again, I I go to uh, Tyler Junior College. They try to make me a tackle, something I didn't want to do, so I quit. Uh, after that. Did you try like how was the playing tackle though? Did you you nah, had to do it for a little bit, right? Or no? I had an attitude the whole time. Yeah. Like I would like, <laughs> be waiting for the play on break dancing, like picking the grass out the ground and just throwing it and like I'm doing everything <laughs> not, not to do it. Yeah, like like I'm a happy person, like I'm always happy, but like when I'm pissed, like it, it's just petty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I ain't done. You're not getting nothing out of me. Like I'm so stubborn. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to catch ball so, like, and I ain't I'm, trying to block these. I'm missing <laughs> blocks. I'm like I'm past setting on run plays. That's I'm, funny. Like Ooh. I'm doing everything wrong. And he's just like like he really wants me to do it. So he's just like Okay, it's all right. We can we can get it later. Like it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I understand. Like you're messing up, and it's just like, bro, I'm not doing it. So I have the conversation. I'm just like, man, is like this is not the same thing as tight end. Like you can't. Like that's a whole different world. Like that's yeah. really the trenches. Like, and yeah. how big were you at that time? Were you like heavier at that same. point? You about the same, same right? Size, yeah. Yeah. But it wow. was. That's a yeah. big ass tackle though. <laughs> nah, I mean not really though. I mean like not you know not saying? weight size, but height size. And shit yeah, like I mean tackle yeah. you're supposed to be tall, long, and linky a little yeah. bit, but you're supposed to have like that big base, which you got yeah. some weight on you. You know yeah. what I mean? But like, yeah, you ain't a tackle, right? No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah. So um, I I didn't finish this that uh, spring season. Um, I quit. Then that's after the fall season. You went yeah. and played the fall season. Nah, I I didn't. I had actually. I, so in high school we made it to states. Um, basketball, I, right? Yeah, basketball. Yeah, United States was the first team to do it at Point Siena. and then I had like a foot injury. Mm. So my first day at Tyler Junior College, I broke my foot. Mm. Not first practice, not like our first training camp, like not anything. My first day. What so were you we, doing? We um we had a team meeting, and they were just like, "You're supposed to be going to Florida," because Florida sent me there. Again, like I'm from Poinciana, I don't know anything about JUCO football. Yeah, I'm getting recruited from Florida, but my test scores come back late. So they're like, "What we can do is we can send you to JUCO, and we can get you out of JUCO after two years." Yeah. So I went JUCO. Um, after I went JUCO and signed, I ended up getting passing test scores, but I had already signed. So the the deal was to go do a year or a season, and they'll come get me out in the spring. Uh huh. I go and I break my foot the first day. Oh man. No contact with them. Like I don't hear anything back from them. Like, <laughs> ever. damn, bro. So wow. after that, um, it, how? Because you seem very like, uh, <clears throat> like even killed. Like you seem like you don't get emotional. Yeah. Often, how did you feel in that moment though? Because that's like, I mean, it, be- it seems like you didn't have a lot of value in football even at the time, right? But like, I mean, that's a oh, that's no, a dream right there. At right? that point, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, like my grandma always told me, like. Whatever you do, you you could do it, and you be the best at it. Yeah, and she'll be like, "Toronto, I don't care if you're a, a trash man. Like you be the best trash man you can you be. Could be. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it, even hurt. though I sit here and I tell you that like football is not my dream. Like if I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it, and I'm yeah. gonna do it 100. percent Yeah. So I'm waking up at five o'clock. If school starts at six, I'm waking up at five o'clock. I'm running a mile. I'm getting dressed, and I'm going to school, and <coughs> then I'm not getting home until nine o'clock. Like. Yeah, I know this is my way out. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not about to ask my mom to pay yeah. for school, so I got to do what I got to do. So, so, Easy. so you was thinking, damn, all right, bet. So I passed my scores. Now I turn that two year at this JUCO to a one year at this JUCO. Exactly. And then, all right, man, how'd you break your foot, bro? What happened, man? I just ran a five yard out and turned up the oh, sideline. Oh my oh. god, fam. it was just that. It, it was just bro. that easy, bro. Because yeah. you broke it in high school already. Nah, it, it was just like troubling, like. I was still playing, like, I was playing. We did the playoff run. We made it to states. We won states. And I was still, like, I was just doing, like, everything on it. 
Yeah. And then just so happened that I ran a five yard out. Like we was just trained, like we was just doing regular stuff, bro. Rocks on there. And I broke my foot. <laughs> oh, oh my wow, man. Yeah. I, w- I wonder if you had like a, like a fracture or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, yeah and it just was weakening just and you just happened it that one yeah. time. Damn, man, that's rough. So that happened um, after I had quit. Uh, the old coaching staff had came and, I mean, the old coaching staff left and I had hit them up because they went to another JUCO. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not trying to play tackle, but <clears> I'll come since you guys recruited me for that's the Florida's coaching end. staff or the Juco you was at the Juco okay they went the old one they yeah. went to another Juco so I, I asked them like can I can I come over like can I start playing there and stuff and they was just like nah you're you're D1 already um like and now you have the test score so go do that yeah so they get me the offer from Alcorn Alcorn State it's another HBCU yeah um, like a very winning program they're great where at are the they time, at Elkhorn? mississippi mississippi yeah. yeah okay so at the time i didn't know anything about it i just knew they was in mississippi and when they called they said that like the closest walmart is 45 minutes away i'm not oh. going to mississippi mm-hmm. after Alcorn, offered- you said i'm not off that <laughs> yo you smart bro <laughs> hey me and big mike some way smaller scale we went to naia but mm-hmm. same shit bro it was like a two and a half hour radius to get to a fucking anything sports bar anything like yeah. that was hell bro you're not <laughs> you're not wrong bro that shit ain't for everybody so after alcorn <laughs> like it just um but then cookman offered tennessee state offered so i, I chose cookman because uh, it's close to home yeah and i'm from north carolina so we played the north carolina centrals and the north carolina ents and also the first game of the season was miami yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I felt like, all right, I'm going to Miami. I feel like I should have been playing at this level in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out, yeah, I was not ready. Really? <laughs> when y'all played? Bro, yeah, no. It was a different situation. For sure. They that, was ball- That's when they had those two, uh, well, those three linebackers, those three freshman linebackers that were starting since freshman year. Yeah. Um, they had that Chad, <clears throat> the major nine dude. Yeah, 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 They yeah. had him at defensive end. They had um, the and big And that's D directly tackle. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like uh, one. I remember like one time being in the goal line, well, being backed up in our own end zone. He hiked the ball, and before I even get my hand out of the dirt, they done sacked the quarterback. It was just like, yeah, it was it was bad. That's bro. fast. Wow. Yeah, that's fast. <laughs> yeah. And like, when's the first ready. time? When's the first time you played? Because you said you redshirted, right? When you went, yeah, to I redshirted to when I was at JUCO. Oh, you redshirted JUCO? Yeah, because I broke my foot, I couldn't play, so yeah. I got redshirted. Then, yeah, I played as soon as I got to Cookman. No, uh, yeah. okay. Like, as soon as I got there, I, I played. That's how I was able to play the Miamis and stuff like that. So. Yeah, yeah. So that was your fr- your. Do you consider that your freshman year? That's your freshman. Yeah, year? yeah. That was so that's your freshman year. year. Ah, mm-hmm. okay. Damn, bro, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So as soon as you get there, you start playing. Was there like a difference? <laughs> oh shit. Is there a difference that you noticed with like playing at that JUCO level and then going to Bethune Cookman even? Yeah, the speed, man. Um, the speed of the game it changed. So that was really it, though. Um, like I'm, I, I consider myself to be pretty smart. Mm-hmm. Uh, like whether it's football or uh, off the field, so yeah. uh, all that stuff was easy. Like I, I catch on fast. I also play quarterback, so like a lot of that stuff, like playing tight end, I, yeah. I, I see you can, and makes yeah. it really easy because I play quarterback. Yeah, you know what he wants. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, because that's at the end of the day, that's who you need to throw yeah. the ball. <clears throat> like yeah. zones and man to man, like recognizing coverages and blitzes and stuff. That stuff is easy. Yeah. So. That was that part was easy. It was just actually getting in front of them. Yeah, but, but <laughs> when the ball yeah. is that tight ends, you gotta kind of look at the formations and stuff too, right? Because yeah. you're doing pass, pro- not pass protections, but like blocking, right? Like Block, run blocking, blocking, the- running routes, um, just and just the way that like certain stuff is. I ain't trying to get too technical, but it, you just see certain stuff like if they start in too high and one safety start coming down and they're rotating, then. Now you guys got to keep it up the seam and stuff. Yep. If it was too high, then you bend it in the middle of the field, yep. like certain routes. And it's it just like a whole lot. It's one of those things, bro, where like, I don't know, like, uh, like the highest paid receiver is paid more than the highest paid tight end right now, I think. Right. In the NFL. At yeah, least. for sure. But it's like, man, like, just think about that. Yeah. Right. Like receivers, all they got to worry about is what you talked about at first, which was like man versus zone versus yeah. like, you know, and how to get open. Mm-hmm. But tight ends, bro, you got to worry about a whole nother beast like a whole nother side of the ball where it's yeah. like when we're running you need to know our, our blocking schemes you need to know how to turn somebody in and go up the seam you, you're yeah. you're blocking somebody yeah. and trying to read the next level and shit like that like There's that's no like just getting in the way and stuff like that and i i undervalued the position at first but it's definitely undervalued like you see everybody like mm. like i tell them like all 11 positions like they 
we got to come see them. Yeah. Like, whether it's blocking the nose tackle, whether it's blocking linebacker, the DN, the yeah. linebacker, safeties, corners. Like, we coming. We coming. You seeing somebody. He's yeah. touching all of them. And then all you run in a route against a corner or a safety. Yeah. And, and a linebacker, too. And a they, linebacker. If they, yeah. yeah, feel like they're good enough. Yeah, man, I could I could see soon, especially like guys like you, like that can catch the ball and run routes and stuff. Like you know, you got your Kelsey's Kittles stuff like yeah. that. It's like those guys. I don't know, man. Like if I'm a GM, I'm paying that guy a little more money than yeah. I'm paying. I would say the quarterback. The quarterback is definitely like the smartest, but after that, it has to be the tight end. Mm-hmm. If like when you just Word. when you just like factor all the things that we have to do, um, as far as like lead blocking and it's like three. Three or four positions you you play you can play fullback they'll put you behind the uh in the backfield and like out formation you playing fullback you go to the slot you be out wide yeah and you play your natural inline position as, as a tight end and then that's where the route schemes are way different right like a yeah. running a running back got to worry about blocking schemes <clears throat> and pass but their passing routes is way more limited to what a tight end is going to be as doing. well as their blocking and it's blocking like picking yeah up the free man yeah like you yeah. you gonna be able to see what's coming you pick yeah. them up. Yeah, but, um, yeah. The tight end position is definitely one that's like yeah, undervalued. Man. And you said you undervalued it. Like, what was that your position? I didn't, you were going for off rip going into college. Yeah, I, I realized I didn't want to play quarterback no more after playing for Point Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after playing for them, no, I was getting hit too much, man. It was just like <laughs> if like I really started off playing receiver, right? So like receiver when Beans you know, was quarterback. All I got to worry about is the corner in front of me. Yeah, like that's it. Like I just, I just got to beat you. Yeah. And at quarterback, I got to be all 11. So, yeah. it's just like, man, receiver is way easier. Yeah. yeah. Different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. So, all right. So, then so then you go to Bethune and, and you're playing. Uh, for, how did freshman year go? That's when you start playing against Miami and stuff like that, learning that. Yeah. So, like, we already knew what well, I knew. Um, that the first two or three non-conference games would be the hardest. Yeah. So, we play, like, Miami, Southeastern Louisiana, and – Florida Atlantic, mm-hmm. FAU. They uh, just had that Lane Kiffin, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. yeah, that that wasn't that wasn't pretty neither. But it was easier. It was a lot easier than playing uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah. 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 So, but like, they ran the score up. They went for it on fourth and one or or fourth and seven and converted. Like really? they didn't care, bro. Yeah. yeah, it was already like forty nine zero, and they was just. That's yeah. the hard part about football, though, man. Like yeah. you could be a really good individual athlete, but I don't know if there's a. More of a team sport than football, yeah. right? Like, there's, no, yeah. there's yeah. all kinds of team sports, right? For but, sure. like, maybe soccer is one of them, but, mm. like, football. No, no. But no, football requires. Not, okay. No, one one good player can dominate. I mean, you see it. Yeah, yeah. So but soccer's out of football it. Football requires every single person yeah, to job. execute absolutely. their job. And if one person doesn't, it blows up everything. Right? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. said it, though. Yeah. He was just like, so, in basketball, you give me one good score and – a couple more uh, role players we can win. Yep. In um, baseball, if you give me a good pitcher and a, and a solid hitter, mm. we can win that too. But yeah. it's just like football, all 11. It takes all 11. Every time, man. Yeah. And that's the hard part too because even like in in like high school even, right? Like you mm-hmm. were playing for Point Siena. We played for Liberty. It's just saying, you know, like you, you lose a lot of games. You, you, you fight hard. Like we got blown <clears throat> out against Haines City and shit. <laughs> yeah. But like – it's hard too because you got players, <laughs> yeah, you got players us, that are bro. good and, yeah. and are going to make it to the next level. You're a great example and stuff. Yeah. Um, but then, like, it's hard though because like you got to take L's, you got to take these hard yeah. games, these hard losses. Yeah. Even Bethune Cookman, I know y'all had some studs, right? But mm-hmm. then, but then you're going against a team that's got all eleven coming in hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's for just sure. a different game. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Uh, what was that? Uh, how was it getting used to? Was JUCO first of all? The school side, right? Because you said you had a good GPA and stuff, right? It was just the, the SAT, ACT scores. Yeah. How was that transition from high school? Because <laughs> high school is obviously the best, like, easiest. You know what I mean? Like, that's when it's the most fun and shit like that. Yeah. How was that transition with school and football going into JUCO? And then how was that transition with school and football going to Bethune-Cookman, right? Like a D1 school and stuff. Uh, so, like, one thing I pride myself on is, is having discipline. Yeah, mm. so I, that's a like, great thing to probably just I, like, yeah, I yeah. always knew exactly what, like, if I'm here for football and school, like, that's that's what it's going to do. It's 24 hours in a day. Practice is only, like, an hour. Where? Two, no, I'm lying. That's, like, three hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> but <laughs> Just but, practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it's just practice. That's yeah. what I'm here for, so I can't complain. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and school, like, you have to take care of school in order to make it a practice and play in the game. So it was just yeah. like, man, the transition was easy. It was it was. 
you had the mindset everywhere. for it. You had yeah. the mindset for it. Because some people, that shit's a hard transition, bro. Like, oh, for sure. They ain't used to waking up early, yeah. doing and, the and meetings. Your mama not there. Yeah, mama's not yeah, there. Not get out of bed. Yeah. 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 It, it can be, I can see where, like, a lot of people fold and, and they can become tough because, like, you, I have workouts at six, but I can chill with this girl from 11 to three. Yeah. And then it's just like, all right, maybe I'm not going to go to workouts this morning. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Make me run laps and stuff like that. But like you, you gotta have the discipline to yeah. to move on and, and like really be successful. And that's why a lot of people don't be successful. Yeah, I mean, and it's the chance you have to take. Like you can do everything right and still not make it. Yeah, but it's, you can also just not even give yourself a chance by not doing anything right. Yep. Yeah, so. it's because at the end of the day, man, like what you're trying to do right now, and we're gonna get to it. But like trying to make it to the NFL, you lucky. Like, sure. like, you're lucky, bro. You know what I mean? Because there's people out here that got crazy talent that never made it to the league. Yeah. And then there's people that got that had that did everything right and they don't make it to the league. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 lucky. But that's that's preparation and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, you got to You got to do what you got. Like you said, give myself a chance. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. put that work in, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's great. You had the mindset, bro, because that's usually that's usually a hard thing for people to get used to, man. Yeah, but, I appreciate my grandparents, man, because it's. Like that literally played a part. Like yeah. just being around like old people, or yeah. real, like people that know how to do things the right way. People that like encourages you to to do the right thing at yeah. all times, no matter where you at, yeah. no matter who's looking. Yeah, so, like, it's, it's important to have the support, the support on your side for sure. For sure, like it, and, and there's a lot of people that have like a lot of talent, but they don't have that support, mm -hmm. and it just goes on the drain because they they take the wrong path or they make the worst the and, bad decisions. And I them. didn't have the talent. So I had to like work hard. Like, yeah, I'm six six, but I like it's hard to yeah. like stay low. They're six six too. <laughs> yeah, or, or big too. It's hard yeah. to stay low and move like the way I do. So like yeah. I had to like really work to get to where I to where I am and like it's because so, that's that's something you never did, right? <clears throat> like in high school you played quarterback then, or receiver, yeah. then quarterback. Yeah. And then yeah. you gotta go block. Lyman, yeah, yeah, lineman. Lineman. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people that's really trying to make it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they, they hungry, like man, I, like in in high school, I I didn't even live, like yeah. I, I don't think I, I ain't coming to college, been able to do like one eighty five, yeah, and you then have, you asking me to block this grown man, like JUCO, they just as old, yeah, because they like, yeah, <clears throat> they really ain't got nothing yeah. to lose, neither though. Yeah. Like I played against a guy that was. 25 yeah my birthday is in september so i graduated high school at 17 yep you were 17 years old going up against a 25 year old ain't stand a chance yeah so yeah. it's just like it's not like, even fair too like and that. that's it's a weird thing with football too man because like like college football is like there's no real d league there's no real like like go play overseas or something like that like that's your only shot yeah. like that's your only yeah. funnel is these college programs yeah and the weird part is it of it is you are 17 18 Going up against twenty, at the very least, twenty-two year olds that are established in their positions and shit like that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I I went through the same shit in AI. Like, I was competing with two twenty-five year olds, twenty-six year olds. I was seventeen. Yeah. And I was telling, I remember telling my moms and shit. Like, I don't know what. Like, like I'm trying and I'm better than them. Like, I'm better than them. Mm -hmm. But but they got man strength. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they like the, that's what it was. Certain man. things that they could do, they could fuck up where I can't fuck up because they got that man strength and they could take on yeah. certain blocks the wrong way. And you they, know what I mean? Some way they some like somehow they've been playing the game a little bit longer too, so it, so they can yeah. get and away. That, they can knowledge. get away with like mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that you just you're not ready for. Um, yeah. And then man. I came into Cookman. And it was kind of the same thing. I, I went against uh, two great uh, defensive ends. They was just older, and they they knew the game. Um, and they told me like, before you leave, you're gonna be a monster. Yeah, Cause, that's cause, part of the game. You got to go in there and get your ass beat a little bit. Because we like, gonna give it to you, and, and like we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna let up. Yeah. I remember one time in inside run, he almost like took me to the building. Yeah, and it was just it was just crazy. And after that, that was just my freshman year though. After that, man, it was. Everything was cake. It was, it was game time. He was yeah. grinding. Yeah, for sure. He was grinding. Cause it, and it all came from I got even after I I didn't um, I still wasn't feeling football my first year at Cookman. Really? Yeah. I, like so I played at I, I'm the man at Pontiana. Right. And then I'm <laughs> low key the man coming into JUCO because I'm I'm supposed to be going to Florida. Yeah. So they treat me as such. Yeah. And then I come to Cookman. And I'm like, man, I need to be playing. Like, I should be playing. Like, my attitude is just like, it's, it's no way I'm not playing. And yeah. 
the tight end, he was better than me. Yeah. Um, and that's a hard man. That's why sports, bro. Like like people yeah. that were kids and shit like that. Ain't other. Ain't no better fucking life lessons and yeah. stuff learned than sports. Yeah, for football. sure. Like like you said, I, I'm the man. I need to be here. And then there's no there's nothing nothing else. Outside of like life that can humble you that way, where yeah. it's like, he's better. This guy's better right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and I got he's a time. senior though, and he's a senior. So like, yeah, yeah. At the time, I I didn't get it, and I, I thank him and my coaching staff for for just like making me stick with it. But at the at the time, it was just like, yeah, I don't I don't want to do this no more because I know I should be playing. <laughs> At the time, I wasn't ready, though. I so was just young. That was the biggest thing, then. Just yeah. feeling like you deserved more than what you were getting kind of thing. Yeah. And, and like, so, um, just me knowing the player I am, though, I it it was crazy. I was, um, after my, after my uh, freshman year, I'm in the office, like, watching film, like, trying to be better, mm-hmm. doing everything I'm supposed to do. And my strength and conditioning coach came up, and our relationship was never good. <laughs> Like never good, <laughs> cause like again, I played quarterback. I I wasn't I was nowhere near where I was supposed to be. Like in the weight room, yeah. And she would call you out. Like she would call you out. Like you soft. What are you doing? Oh, it was here? a girl. It was a woman. Yeah, it was a woman. Oh, oh, shit. So she oh, really feeling herself. Like yeah. she, she felt like she had to like yeah. do the most. Yeah, like she's she, she sure standing on top of uh, benches and just like calling you all kind of b words and like everything, bro. So like I. I'm in there, I'm watching film, and she she's printing off something, and she comes in. I'm with my coach, and she's just like, what you doing in here? You'll never play here. <laughs> oh, like, what? Yeah, okay. So, after that, I just, um, my sophomore year was, was pretty good. I only had, like, one catch my freshman year. My sophomore year, like, you could start to see the growth, and I got better every year. Uh, since then, but that was something that really, like, sparked me. She was that- just like, yeah, you'll never play here. Mm. Do you so, think she meant it out of like like out of like being mean and like like seriousness, or do you think she was just trying to like motivate? Nah, you? yeah, yeah. At the time, if I would have kept doing what I was doing, I was yeah. never gonna play there. She was dead ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she stayed there since like mm-hmm. you've been playing and yeah. stuff. Like my best friend now, like she's like yeah, my, my mom, and it, and it was just, just it was just like yeah, you have to you have to go through that. Yeah, you got to do oh, it. Shit. Like tighten up. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what I did Man you'll never know Your full potential Unless you go through The fire like that yeah. bro Or yeah. and like like Just with anything Take that shit to like Personal relationships And stuff Like if you're being nice And sugarcoating things Like some people You gotta sugarcoat shit Cause you don't care You could care less You yeah. know what I mean But like if that's your people Like it, for her That was her, her squad Like that's the people I gotta yeah. get to the best potential mm-hmm. I, you gotta be real with people. Yeah, you know so, sometimes I mean? sometimes being real just is like it has that Absolutely. tough love that comes with it. You know what I mean? And it's a make or breaker, right? Like a lot of people. I mean, you've probably seen it. A lot of people just like you played quarterback, never had to squat a certain weight, never had to bench a certain weight, never had to deal with certain people. Uh, then they go and they get recruited because of their body type and what they should be doing. Yeah, and and they can't take. They can't take her standing on the bench screaming at you. You a little bitch. You yeah. you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be. You're not. Gonna, you're never gonna play. They can't take that, right? Yeah. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of players come in that that yeah. couldn't take that they pressure. Come and go, man. They, yeah, they come and go. And is and like another thing that'll kill them is is school. Yeah. yeah. Again, like my. That's mom, why I asked, man. Congrats. Not, good for you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> your mama's not working you up. Yeah. Uh, your coach not waking you up, and it's just like you have to really want to be there because, I mean, in reality. So, you're in college. Mm-hmm. Like, the man behind you or in front of you is better, not if not just as good, like better. Yeah. So yeah. and trying to take your position. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So like nobody's like begging you to come to practice. Nobody cares if you come or not. Yep. So it's just like Is it, and that's like uh that's the other side of it that's like a big transition where it's like in high school it's fun. This is these yeah. are my boys. Yeah. We're trying to win. This is our team type shit. <coughs> and then when you go to college You find out real quick That it's a business Yeah Right mm-hmm. You find out real quick Oh I got somebody Trying to take my spot I'm trying to take this man's spot I'm trying And then if I got the spot I'm trying to solidify that And then As long as I'm up here Everybody's up here Trying to Kind of t- yeah. take me down Or build me to be better And yeah. it, and all of it Ain't necessarily Like positive reinforcement It's a crazy business <laughs> Like you'll see Like it goes as dirty as Alright You're not really being successful on the field, so I'm a drug test you. Ooh. You fail the drug test, I take your scholarship because I need somebody better to come in. Wow! So like you, you see that like being in college and and just like how much of a business it is. It is they can't just take it from me, right? So they got to give an excuse to take away exactly. the scholarship. Yeah, right? exactly. That's the drug test for. Damn. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, and it's like, it's, come on now, everybody smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, everybody smoke. Just right. like your worst player smoke, your best player smoke. Right. Yeah. 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 And at all levels, players in the NFL, exactly. all yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you're not about to test Lamar Jackson, but you're gonna no. you're gonna test me because because I'm I'm not what you want me to be exactly. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, man. And and in the school. In the school setting, it's, like, way more fucked up, man. Because you're talking about, like, pretty much kids, bro. Like, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like, even, like, we kids, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, if you're in your early 20s, bro, like, you just figuring shit out. You're trying to make something out of yourself. Sure. You know what I mean? And it, it's it's a dirty game they got to play with that, huh? So you see some shit man. like that for sure, huh? All the time. Uh-huh. You see it all the time. And that, that goes to your discipline. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, you got to give them. It's like, okay, go ahead. give them an excuse. Yeah. And ahead, realizing though, me. like if you are that that guy, they're not gonna try you. Yeah. yeah. Like so. Yeah. It's like yeah. I mean, I can I can get away with certain stuff too. Even though I, I've never smoked or drink. Yeah. Like, I've never did that. Yeah. But it was, it was just something that I I seen, and it's just like crazy. Like yeah, this is the game we play. Yep. You and gotta like, stay on your p's and q's for sure. A hundred percent. Damn. Damn man. So going into your sophomore year, you you were saying that y'all got like a, a Louisville. Transfer right. He went through the transfer yeah, part. My senior, my junior, my junior year going into my senior year, we had got a uh, a Louisville a, com- a Louisville transfer, uh, Kamari Avery, and he was just uh, he's a stud man. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, a great guy. He uh, he actually tore it up this year. It was his first year playing. Um, he was he was deemed eligible, and um, he just he just did everything he was supposed to do. He killed it. Yeah. So it was fun um, learning from him and seeing everything that he did. Uh, he actually played with Lamar. Really? Yeah. So just seeing like yeah. the way he attacked the game and like this certain stuff that he knew that I didn't know, and just certain ways that I could help him too. It was, it was just a, it was a special year. So did you hear about it before it happened, or did it just happen? And you're like, all right, bet this is. This is new competition at first, or what? Yeah, so, like, the player I was, it was just, like, to make the team better. Like, I know three was going to play regardless. Yeah, like yeah, Three's yeah. going to get in. I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do. Yeah. So, it was just, like, I'm going to play regardless. Whoever y'all bring in is going to help us. Yeah. So, you weren't worried about it in the slightest? No. Nah. Yeah. All right, but that's dope. Because yeah. it's a such thing as 12 personnel. First, I mean, yes. Gonna, There's two tight ends, for exactly. sure. Like yeah. You can yeah. both play at the same time. Yeah. Like, so there's nothing I was worried about for real. It was just like, wow, I got a, a, a teammate yeah. that in like, the, we can in go your kill. Room, in yeah. your position group. That we can just kill the swag with. Like, we can kill the conference. We can get each other better, and we can just take control. We can, we can take over. Yeah. That's, that's Man, mindset, one hundred percent, bro. Because exactly. like a lot of people can take that as like, and oh, oh that's competition. Yeah, Especially if yeah. you get your first starting shot, like real starting shot, like your sophomore year was your year where it's like this is me yeah. kind of thing, right? And then mm-hmm. toward, and then your junior year too, right? Yeah, he didn't come to my senior year though. To your senior year, so you had your yeah. sophomore and your junior year. Yeah. yeah, sophomore, junior year, junior year, I made all conference. I'm like <clears> the second leading receiver on the team and, and yards, and <laughs> it was just like. Whoever you bring in, like like again, I'm a play. I'm a, I'm gonna do me. Yeah, so you showed like up. If you bring somebody in, yeah, it's, it's just to help us. Great, yeah. great mindset, bro. Because yeah. again, like I said, a lot of people take that Completely and opposite. it could fuck them up. Yeah, these days when it had it's, it's transfer to do portal. It. It's transfer portal. Yeah, man. you bring somebody else in, I'm gone. Especially it's right just now, that easy. Yeah, and a lot of people have been successful from it though. Mm-hmm. Like you got the Joe Burrows, you got Jameson Winston. I ain't no Jameson Williams. The receiver at uh, Alabama, yeah, he played with Garrett uh, Wilson and uh, Chris Olave at Ohio State. Really? So he transferred from Ohio State? Yeah. Oh shit! It just wasn't enough football from all three of them, and and all three of them went in the first round. But at one time, all three of them was on the same field. Yeah, yeah. just too many players. Too and many it's a smart players. move for him, I guess. Like, yeah, like it, it actually sure. works. But a lot of people, the transfer portal gets you to running away from like work. Yeah, For man. Real. Yeah, people and people. <clears throat> do you think people are using the transfer portal now more so than like, ever, I mean, like yeah. when you started or ever? Yeah, right, for sure. right. Like yeah. I, I feel like I'm hearing it. Like Ratliff, there's like left and right players are yeah. going to the transfer, and that's just what you know, right? Like that mm-hmm. casual fan. I, I consider myself like a casual college fan. Like yeah. more. If I know, if I feel like it's going more than ever, then it's even more than that. Like because there's players left and right doing it. Then right? yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And you like. Whether you leaving because your coach don't like you, or it's just like, well, you feel like your coach don't like you. A mm-hmm. coach told me like it's no such thing because if you can like that's how I feed my family, and if you're good enough to win me football games, I'm gonna put you on the field. Yeah, that's so, that's that's a gem. That's it's, it's so <laughs> much 
like it's only so much you can do though but it's like a lot of people that leave the game or leave certain schools for so many reasons yeah and yeah the transfer portal is definitely and it's hard to get out though like i tried it you tried the chess reporter before? I Man, I tried to leave cooking like three times. <laughs> Here I Again, go thinking like, like yo, but so you still a, strong, huh? A, a bad day, you come back, you're like, fuck, like, fuck this fuck shit. It. Yeah, it just, like especially during the pandemic. Yeah. It's just like, can I go somewhere else and get like a better opportunity to go to the league or like, yeah. could yeah. this actually like help me? So, like, and that doesn't, get a better chance? and because it's business. Because it is business at the end of the day. That doesn't fuck you over. Like, the, uh, does your coaches wise, know yeah. that you're trying yeah. to transfer? And they yeah. don't really care, right? Like, they're like, you're just trying to do what's best for you. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why, like, I respect Coach Sam so much, man. Because he, he let me come back, um, like, multiple times. Multiple times I tried to leave. and Like, I don't regret being at Cookman at all. Like, yeah. I've learned so much as a man. Yeah. Like, about my culture and, like, so much. Like, if you actually sit down and you... Like sit on those school seats and yeah. you learn. Like a HBCU is like the best thing that could ever happen to you. Yeah, because um, I just know so many times where like right now I can call my teachers and and get a job offer. Right, just based off me being in a classroom where it was no more than thirty people. They know my name, I know theirs, and I can come to my teachers at any time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you go and you sit in this class of three hundred. Yeah, you're just a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely something different. And you have like a lot of people that can relate. Um, like your teachers can relate to you. Um, they understand where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to hear your story. They they actually care about you. And um, like being going to a HBCU is like the best thing that ever happened to me. Even though I tried to leave like multiple times, it's just like it wasn't because of that. No. Nah, yeah. Definitely. Right. Right. It was just for football purposes. Right. And like. Through that process, I've learned that I'm way more than a football player. Like, I'm actually valued and, like, my opinion matters and what I learn and can take to the next young black man mm. uh, means more than any kind of paycheck that I can get, like, further on in life. Because Hell yeah, it, like, bro. you're just saving lives. Like, you can get, save lives and keep people out of jail and poverty and stuff like that. Yes, so, sir. Like, I, 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 re- I much rather do that than play football yeah man well uh but it's just like the football that check or like help you gotta yeah, try yeah, it, bro. That, you gotta bro. try it you gotta try it. you're not you're not wrong for trying yeah. what was that there was a uh i think it was like this past year number one corner recruit chose uh the hbcu that Deion sanders is coaching yeah jackson right? state jackson state travis hunter went travis hunter jackson went to jackson state, state. Yeah, yeah man and i i thought that was dope man you know what i mean because it's yeah. like he's showing he's like no i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna do what i think is best and then put a light on like big players going to hbcus but it's not not to take anything from him but that's not the first it's just so happened that Deion Sanders has the platform to make biggest it. highlight. Yeah, biggest highlight. Just like it's been talent in these conferences, but because Deion Sanders is here, now yeah. you see the talent. Now hey. people want to watch, and yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, like I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah, but there's been like like I said, Kamari Averett. He was at a D. He was at Louisville. HBCU. Yeah, yeah, he was at an HBCU, and he was at a D one before he went to an HBCU. But yeah. like now he's he's killing it, and like it's talent in these rooms. It's talent on these teams. Yeah. And, like, the main part, like, you would see the talent, like, when we play these D1s, but it's the trenches. And, like you said, it's a team sport. Yeah, yeah, If you was to, like, if we were to play seven on seven, it would be a hell of a game. Different, different. It would be different. Yeah, Like, we will win. Yeah. Type stuff because it's just, like, in the, like, outside, a 4-4 is a 4-4. Different, yeah. And so we have guys that run them, and they have guys that run them. yeah. It's in the trenches where the difference is. It's, it's big boy. The yeah. trenches. The it's trenches like their three linemen everything. outweigh our five. Yeah. Their three defensive linemen outweigh our five. And it don't matter how good Offensive y'all run linemen. routes or how fast y'all run if the quarterback can't get the yeah. ball out. They don't have time. Yeah. Like for like I said, they was past me by the time I lift my <laughs> my hand out of the dirt. Right, so right. So he's sacked. It don't matter who is open. Yeah. And you can tell it's, it's the same difference. That last play in the Super Bowl, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Jamar Chase beat Jalen Ramsey, but he didn't have enough time. Don't matter. The trenches is where like the game is won. Yeah, for real. is that what happened on that last play? He ended up getting sacked, mm-hmm. and, J- and, J- and Jamar Chase was open. Yeah, Jamar Chase like made Jalen Ramsey fall, and so you see like all over social media, they're like, "Man, if he just had one more second, if he." But the game is won in the yeah. trenches, yeah. though. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's, it's such a team sport. Like one person can mess it up. Yeah. And we I, see it on film all the time. I forgot what, what, what uh, Coach Roberts, our O line coach, back when we played for Liberty, but he said the same shit. He was like, "Man, when I played Madden, 
I can make sure I get all the best O linemen, D line. I don't even give a fuck who's playing outside of that, yeah, which don't really matter. Ball, yeah. yeah, but he's like everything makes sense if the trenches are handled. Yeah, right. Like you could have a bum kind of running the ball or whatever, and that, throwing it. it and throwing the ball if that hole's wide open or if I got eight seconds to throw the ball. That's why a lot of guys like at the Alabamas don't make it like in the league. Like a lot of quarterbacks in the Alabama and the LSU's that win national championships, but they're just not. They're just yeah. not talented. It's like Tua was the last one to do so. I'm just playing. Matt I hope Jones. Tua makes it. I hope Tua makes it. I'm a Miami fan. So you got like, Matt Jones though. Yeah, Matt yeah. Jones went to the Patriots. Oh, but it's just yeah. like a, a lot of guys that when you think yeah, about Matt it, they Jones. don't be successful in the NFL because the talent, mm-hmm. like they're surrounded by talent, so it's a lot easier. Yeah. You take Matt Jones and you put him at Cookman, he might not be that good. Right. Right. Or take Matt Jones and you draft him <laughs> first overall. To the Jaguars And he yeah. didn't have The same rookie season Yeah Yeah he don't have sure. The same rookie season Yeah, yeah that's like that it's like, It just plays a, a big part That's the That's the damnest thing About football But that's why Like we I mean we were talking About before we started Recording like Belichick picking up All these weird people From these small schools You know what I'm yeah. saying But it's like He's probably seeing Like what you're talking about mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Where it's like Yeah the team's not doing good But look at this individual Bus and ass in film You yeah. know what I mean and, and maybe he's that's what he's seeing or whatever. Yeah, that but, might be what it is. But it's 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 crazy to think and it's a good way to think about it, like especially like this whole draft process and stuff like that. Like that's something you gotta look at, you know. Uh, Walker, uh what's his for Trayvon? Is it Trayvon Walker, the first overall pick? Mm-hmm. He went first overall. He didn't even produce that much this season. You know what I mean? But they, mm-hmm. they I th- I think I heard they looked at his practice tape. Because he's surrounded by dogs, like yeah. like I mean, and every single one of their front seven went in the first or second round. And their best player didn't get picked to like third round. Nicole Dean, Dean's the best player, bro. I agree, hundred percent, bro. Their dog, Ooh, he ain't gosh. going to like third round. Small. Bro. It's because he ain't that big. I guess I don't even know what it is. I, he's just, like six foot two, fifteen or something like that. I guess that's why they thought. Yeah, like it's, he's not big enough. No matter what, though, he's gonna be a dog. Like, bro, gonna, when I watch the national this. championship, yeah. he's flying around, bro. Like yeah. he's gonna be the best player out of this draft. Mm-hmm. And Miami picked up uh, tailored or Tali- I forgot what number forty one or whatever. And he's another Georgia linebacker or whatever. And mm-hmm. I hope he balls out. But I remember that, like it, Big Mike was telling me about that. I was like, man, this Dean dude, he's yeah. gonna be the one coming he, out of he's this. He's tough, man. Yeah, yeah, he's tough. Yeah, man. But, but like, I'm a such a sports junkie and. Like, I'll watch anything that got to do with sports. Like, I love watching Serena. I love watching, like, Bill Belichick. Like, anybody that, like, has, like, a great mindset. Like, anything, yep. like, a winner's mind. And I was watching the South Carolina coach, uh, the women's basketball coach. Uh, I forgot her name. But she was just, like, when you're coaching or when you're picking a team, it's, it's just, like, a puzzle. So, yep. you dump all these pieces out. And you got to find the right match. You got to put it together. And when you put it together, it can be a beautiful thing. Yep. So, like, no matter what, um, like, if, if this guy, if he can block and then this guy can block and, and this guy can block, but this guy can't block, then the puzzle is not going to work. Yep. Like, you yep. can have four people doing the right thing. Yep. And that fifth one, if you mess up, is is just messed up. Like, the puzzle is not fit and it's not going to be successful. So, she was just like, you, you dump out all the pieces and, and you just got to find out where to put them and. That's really just what it is. That's 100% the game, man. That's like, that's an analogy for anything, bro. Like, you starting a business, you're doing this or that. That's team building. Team building is one of the best skills ever, bro. Elon Musk is who he is because he's the best team builder there is right now. You know what I mean? And and especially in football. I mean, God, these coaches, you're the most professional. You're the best you are because of the way you build a team. You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. that's 100%, man. But... Uh, so this this so the new tight end that came in from Louisville, you said, so he helped you out. Y'all y'all you had somebody to learn from. He has something to learn from you. For sure. You think he gives you? Uh, then fast forward, you go through your senior year. He, you think he gives gave you a lot of good gems, a lot of good things to take with you now that you're going through this undrafted process. How was his process? Did you guys graduate the same year? No, he, he actually get to go back. Really? Yeah. So he's gonna do it again. He's gonna kill, and his process will be a lot different than mine. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure he'll get drafted. Really? Yeah, for sure. He's really? uh, like 6'7", 240, 250. Might be 260, but he's moving. Quick, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's the true. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, but so- he's definitely, yeah, he's somebody I, I you got to learn from, him, man. Like anybody that's doing what you're doing. And you don't have to, but you you should. 
Yeah, yeah you should. Like, you, anybody that's doing what you're yeah. doing that's been and, and played and had success, at yeah. the, whether it's at the same level or the next, mm-hmm. like, why not? Yeah. Exactly. You're, hurt, you're doing nothing but hurting yourself if yeah. you're, like, sitting here hating it. Like, nah, I'm I'm better yeah, than him. And, and in reality, you, you're just not. Yeah, yeah. So, like, take, take whatever he – like, he's faster, he's stronger. Yeah. But, like, one thing I had was I – my like learning plays faster um, yeah. being able to read coverages yeah like, stuff like that like that's where you were helping him out with a little yeah. bit yeah 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 so like seeing seeing where like the safety coming down like all right Mark, he gonna come here so you you can just like slip him and, and like stuff like that yeah yeah and he probably already knew it he, right but like that was ways i could help let me, me tell you something at least bro exactly. yeah 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 and i mean we took from each other's game he was like certain releases like I like my footwork and stuff was crazy. Like because I played basketball, I played quarterback, I, and like stuff like that. So like that was stuff I could help him on. He was yeah. Just like oh, yeah. how you can do this release, or like oh, how you do that, and it's yeah. just like yeah, like I'm I'm teaching him and he teaching me, and it like it was a beautiful thing until the season started. To be honest, like why uh, why is that? Until <laughs> the season started, it was just like um, I don't even know. Like we just wasn't, I wasn't being used. Yeah, like how I how I felt like I should have been. Yeah, and then I got hurt, so it like even took the production way more down. Senior year, so, you got hurt. Yeah, I only played like five games. Really? Yeah. What happened? That's what happened? That's why this process year? is so crazy. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I tore my adductor. What is that? Mm-hmm. Inner thigh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So like I was in practice and I, I ran a bubble, and it, at first it started off as a growing injury, but mm-hmm. we're on five. It's homecoming, and I'm just like well, we're on four, and it's homecoming, and I'm just like well, I gotta play. Yeah. So I played with the growing. I didn't even warm up. I couldn't warm up. I couldn't run. I couldn't do anything. I ended up scoring though, but I mean At least you got to yeah, tell it was like on the two two yard line. I just dove. I caught the ball dove. Uh huh. But yeah, it was just stuff like that where I just I, I hurt myself. Um I I had an opportunity to play into the first HBCU Legacy Bowl. Uh uh-huh. Um I made that. So I mean, it wasn't all a failure, and I feel like something good is still gonna come out of it. But yeah, that's why this process is so crazy. I it's didn't get different. to finish my senior year. I'm coming from an HBCU. Yeah, it's already hard yeah. to make it yep. out. So, yep, that's that's a different thing right there. Yeah. So how sure. was and and that that was probably so graduating from your senior year, going into that. How uh, what was your mindset? On what was your attack? Was anybody helping you with the like? What your, what your strategy is going to be trying to get in as, you know, drafted, undrafted? You know, what, what what was the situation with that? Going into my senior year? Or leaving your senior year. How how early does that process start with, uh, with doing at least? Um, with the NFL. Like, did they know off rip that you're trying to go to the NFL? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty much. Like, if you're yeah. playing this sport, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. Yeah. Of course I want to go to the NFL. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, like, certain sc- scouts and stuff, they, they be in and out. Uh huh. And um, like they hear about the two big tight ends, one six six, one six seven. Yeah. So they have to come check us out, and um, it's really just up to you to put the tape together, man. So yeah, that's all it is. And then going going out of that, I mean, before we get into that, I just want to say another thing. Um, you're the second person. Like, I mean, I mean, we've only had two D one athletes, but. You're two for two on D1 athletes that took advantage of the the yeah. COVID thing where you get that extra year of eligibility. Yeah. Uh, that w- when did that happen? That was in between. Twenty twenty. So you, is that your junior year to senior year? No, you kind of had. Yeah, that was supposed to be my senior year. I graduated high school in twenty sixteen. I graduated in twenty twenty. We didn't play a season in twenty twenty, so it, we ended up being able to play in twenty twenty one. So that whole year of twenty twenty, I was able to do nothing but school. Nothing but school. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I mean, it's just crazy. I just want to point that out. Like, I mean, I'm sure if, if we're two for two on the podcast, how many motherfucking D one athletes or just yeah. athletes period took advantage of that one year of eligibility? Those that played that year, though, like other conferences played, right? Mm-hmm. Did they? They didn't get the same type yeah, they of did. benefit. They though, did. Huh? Oh, they got an extra year of, of got, eligibility? And in their case, it was extra film For them and education. Them. Ooh. We didn't play because of, like, money circumstances yeah. and just traveling and not being able to take the COVID test. And, like, yeah. there was no vaccine at the time. So, like, not being able to, like, keep up with COVID tests and provide the sanitizer and all this stuff. Like, we was low in funds, so we couldn't play. But, like, the SEC, the ACC, like, all these other conferences. And Big 12 slipped in, like, right at the end or something like that, yeah. I think. Um, Big 12 or Big, Big 10? Big 10. Big 10. Big yeah. 10 slipped in right at the end. So they was able to, like, 
get the education and the extra year. Yeah. Oh, man. See, that's yeah. the other side that people don't talk about because, like, as casual fans, as selfish fans and shit, like, we're like, yes, they're playing. Or, like, yes, like, we, you save football. Like, we get to see my team play one more, you know, this year or something. Mm-hmm. And, and the other side of it is, like, A, like, I mean, people like you and Mark Kenzie that we've talked to that took advantage of that extra year of eligibility to get your school stuff together. But then, on the other hand, it's like, yo, like, these, some of these players that are playing – uh, are extra lucky because they get that extra year of film and eligibility. Like, yeah. like not everybody gets to play five years yeah. if you wanted to, right? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of players this generation, this little in this window that got to play five years. Yeah, and the freshman of D1 football. Too. The freshman that yeah. came out in 2020, they got that extra year. They get yeah. five Ooh, years. So because this that don't count. That, so this whole true. window of five. Yeah. So freshman 2020. So you can go 2020. Ooh. Don't count 2021. Red shirt. <laughs> you're already in school for two years, and then your four years start. After you read. Ooh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. So that's six years. Yeah. And that's wow. a that's, like that's an automatic heavy. master's. Yeah, that's yeah. heavy, bro. That's yeah. an automatic master's. And so, like, wow. coming in, like, I consider myself, like, at this point, like an OG. Yeah. So, like, a lot of guys was trying to, like, oh, we're not playing. I'm about to leave. But it's like, why? Yeah. Why won't you take these free two years of education? Yeah. Because you – could very well not be ready while you're trying to leave you you still can possibly yeah. not be ready That's so heavy. like take this year and get your free education and then next year red shirt yeah you play two years you you finish with your degree and you have two years to go somewhere else and does it change like the scholarship situation at all does anybody get their scholarship yeah a lot revised? of people yeah a lot so i know in this for softball um like a lot of people just couldn't come back like your team didn't have to bring you back yeah. You was just deemed another year. So, like, I can cut you, but you can go somewhere else. Yeah. If they want you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. like, what if a lot of people don't like you because they come in from, they got the same situation. Yeah. And that's where, like, part of the reason why I couldn't go nowhere neither it was just like, none of my guys are trying to graduate in my tight end room. Like, when I was trying to leave. Yep. It was just like, we don't have the money because nobody's leaving. And we're just not about to be, like, green and just cut people. So, yeah. Yeah, Damn. but I don't. I don't regret any of it though. Hell no, bro! You yeah. got a master's degree out of that. It's bro. the best thing to ever happen. That's different, yeah, to man. Be honest, that, who's calling you right now? Is that the nah, Rams texting? No well, who's <laughs> nah. that? It's Patriots. Just, uh, what? Yo, I heard Instagram the podcast. Thing. I think you're going to be great. Bill Belichick was sitting and he's like, he's like, yo, this guy's gonna be great. Hey, yo, Bill, fuck you. Why would you say? I'm a Miami fan, bro. He ruined my life. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. That's funny. Nah, bro. But uh, so how how has it been though since since graduating, man? Since your senior year, man? Because I know last time I talked to you, you're getting ready to do a pro day. How was yeah. that pro day, bro? Uh, pro day went great. Um, but again, like I I just pride myself on being so much more than a football player. So it's it's put me in a tough spot because it's just like, do I want to like keep chasing this dream that's not promised? Me anything like it's yep. not promised. Nothing. Nothing's promised. Yep. And in this game is definitely not promised. So like, do I go into my career? Because remember, I got hurt. Yeah. So the first thing I did was okay. Well, I graduate, and um, I graduate with my master's, so I can start teaching. Mm-hmm. And so I already started looking into like PhD programs and job offers to like be an instructor at the college level. And I had actually got the job to teach Intro to Criminal Justice at Bethune Cookman. Really? Yeah. Hell like, yeah, bro. Like those are things that I, like at Cookman that yeah. you are presented with because your teachers know you. They know what type of person you yeah. are. And like so, if they believe in you, like certain doors will open. So yeah. I had like as soon as I got the um, what is it called the lesson plan mm-hmm. from my, from one of my instructors, like to actually be a teacher. I was supposed to be one this semester. Really? Um, Why didn't you do it? Why? I got the invite to the uh, Legacy Bowl, to the All-Star Game. Okay. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I got a chance. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I turned that down. Like, I turned the job offer down and just started training and getting ready for the Legacy Bowl. Because, it like, I'm never going to, like, sit here and dwell on, like, what could have been or, or like, nah. any bad situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm going to always look at it, like, half full instead yeah. of, like, half, half empty. empty. Yeah. yeah. So... I'm like, I'm always looking for the positive things. So it was just like, all right, what's next? Yeah. yeah. And it ended up 
like I had got the job and everything, and then this football like keep presenting itself. Like even though I try to like, hey, that could be God, bro. Oh, yeah. for sure. Hey, that it's could be God, God right bro. there. It's, yeah. it's definitely God, and that's why I just know like something's gonna happen. Like something's gonna shake. It has to. I, I've tried to like put this game down too many times, and it keeps coming back, and just keep coming back, bro. Like it, like, so so many times, that's and like good. so many different ways, and. I don't know, man. Because that's the thing. That's the yeah. other thing, man. Like, uh, like guys like us that don't even have the opportunity to play in the NFL, uh, we're like, why wouldn't you try everything to fucking do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then it's like the other side is like, yo, but like every time I'm trying to do it, I'm turning like other things down. The yeah. other thing down, you know what yeah. I mean? Which is like what is could be my security you know what i mean it could yeah. be this like every year i'm shooting for the nfl or i'm shooting you know i like i got this hb hbcu bowl i got this stuff you know it's gonna set me up for the draft i got my pro day and stuff like that like every one of those things I, and you're right like it is something that's taken away from like what your career could be what mm-hmm. the rest of your life could be but then it's like man like it's it, that's a different balance right there that's a hard little decision to make you know like is is a big decision to make you yeah. know and it's cuz you see it like i i see every day is people that's like way older than me and they're still trying yeah and it's just like man you have kids you like yeah go live your life like get a job yeah um, stop chasing like your dreams like it's yeah. like go raise your your child and yeah 100% it's, it's stuff like like and I can't tell nobody what to do. It's just like I don't want to see myself in those situations. Doing that, yeah. yeah. Like I, I just could never, like I say, just keep giving myself or giving this game something that I could never get in return. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not about to just keep working out every day and just like oh praying for something that might just not happen. Yeah, yeah for sure. So like that's, and then it's it's just like that. I, in so many ways, I feel like that's what they want you to do. Mm-hmm. Like they want you to feel like you can't do anything but play a sport. But it's like no, I'm I'm like I'm actually educated. Mm-hmm. And the way I look at it is just like I don't think any billionaire ever picked up a football, right? Mm, so damn. it's just like right, damn, right. I can be them. Like yeah. if if money is what like the end goal, and like being rich and like being a family man is the end goal. Like it's so many ways to get it besides football, right? Damn, sure. And it's just like football in so many ways. It's like drug money is fast, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can lose it. Fast. fast even faster football has one yeah, of the way faster than you can get it you lose mm-hmm. so yeah. fast because like it takes one industry that, one injury that's it in our community not even that in our community we feel like we have to go buy mom a car we got to take care yeah, of this person that bought yeah. us skittles at the store when we was five right. and it's like <laughs> we got to do this we got to do that and we have to give back and in reality you really don't owe nobody anything because mm-hmm. if they gave it to you they should have gave it to you out the kindness that's of their heart, heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and it's just like it's it's just oh, crazy, man. Like we keep going back, like we go backwards once we get money instead of going forward, forward. And, and like trying to invest in our kids and make yeah. sure like we make another business and do this and do that. Yeah, we go backwards. Yeah, man. I, yeah. I, I hate the expression like more money, more problems because that it shouldn't be like that, man. Yeah. P- people people let it be like, and that's the problem with it. If yeah. people start getting money and they start spending the money, they start spending more money instead of investing more yeah. money. So that and that's where the problem comes in for sure. Yeah, the craziest man. thing is that, like that I thought about. Was that like not making it might be the best thing? Because I can mm. be a lot. I can be, a lo- I can make a lot more money, and you not know it than if I went to the NFL and they like Everyone publicize shows. my yeah, my man, contract. exactly yeah. what you're getting paid. Yeah. So now yeah. everybody wants this, and yeah. now I, like, yeah. they feel like I got this when I really don't. Yeah, and the yeah. thing about it too is like like to that point, I think the NFL might have like the highest turnover rate as far as any other sport, as far as like who comes in and who comes out. Oh, I, I would believe it. Yeah, I and, believe it. And like you wouldn't think like that because if you're a casual fan, you see your same players playing all the time and stuff. But it's like nah, the like the you're talking special about special second strings, yeah. third string, special. Teams. Teams. Yeah, I have that conversation a lot. It's like, yeah, we know Odell Beckham, we know Tom Brady, but we don't know the third string defensive end that's busting his butt and Trying like to has it. to go to practice every day, even yeah. if he's hurt. And how many of him there are because he oh, gets yeah. injured and then this happens. And like then- Packers, bro. Like you have a two hundred and thirty million dollar cap, and you give uh, Rogers what twenty five million of that a year, right? Right. And so then. Damn near you 10% subtract, is out, yeah. yeah, you subtract that and like the other 53, 52 got to like divide that. Divide that up. Yeah. yeah, it's just like we don't know about those other guys. Yeah. No, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, you have your stars and we see like people that make the $20 million, but there's a lot of people that make under 800000 yeah. yeah. So are you saying this like, like, like 
your ultimate goal is football, but you are not at the slightest worried about it because you know your backup's good? Or are you just kind of like indifferent a little bit at this point? Nah, like, So like my ultimate goal is to be able to like take care of my family. Be like financially free? Yeah. Period. That's yeah. it. That's it. Like, I, I, I don't want to be in a situation. And my thing has always been, like, you're not going to tell me what I can and can't do. Yeah. And you're not about to tell me that, oh, like, the only way I'm going to get rich is by throwing a fo- catching a football. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and at the same time, you're not going to tell me I can't get rich by doing it. By catching yeah. get, I <laughs> can catch a football. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, like, that's always been my mentality. Like, I've I played basketball, and, like, coaches would be like, you're big. Catch the ball, throw it out. Yeah. No, I'm about to dribble this bit all the way to the mm-hmm. other goal, and I'm going to dunk it. Yeah. Or I'm going to shoot the three. <laughs> and yeah. we're going to win like, state. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, yeah. yeah, like, or I'm going to pass the ball behind my back, and, yeah. like, I'm going to throw alleys. You, alley you, you like, played you, you played basketball for Point Santa, right? Yeah. They won state. Did, did, did you you play with Stephon Moody, right? No. Or no? no? He was gone. I played with his brother, though. Oh, Isaiah, oh, Isaiah Moody? Yeah, his okay, little yeah. brother's state. That, that just clicked yeah. in my head. I'm like, oh, wait, shit, Stephon Moody. Okay, that's cool, though. Yeah. yeah sorry about that. So it's just like, <laughs> I, like, you're not going to tell me what I can and can't do. And, like, I learned from Arian Foster like watching his 30 for 30 his his yeah. thing was when he went to a school he was just like don't listen to adults mm. and they'll and tell you what you can't do yeah yo that's and you can't that's like, so you true can't can't do anything in life but or it's like take it with a grain of salt right because like you got on one hand these adults are like your mentors they're giving you blueprints they're giving you guidance but on the other hand they're also giving you the perspective that they went through and it's all defined to them mm-hmm. like like I'm telling you what is law because I went through it and this is my life right now. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but you got to understand, like, it's not like that for everybody, you yeah, know. And some OGs know that, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. a lot don't, you know. It, it's it's true, man. And that's why I tell, like, a lot of people because I, I found myself in, like, different rooms, like, with my position on campus. And, like, I remember one time we was just, uh, I was in a meeting and, like, one of the guys, because I was working a mentoring program, and he told them, we was talking like amongst ourselves, amongst the mentors. And he was just like, well, we had an event at the middle school. And he was saying that. Um, so once we get into like talking about careers and stuff, we want we don't want kids to say that, oh, they want to be an NFL player or NBA player. Like mm-hmm. we want them to say more than that. Mm-hmm. And I looked and I said, well, I think all of y'all have to pay for school. Yeah. I don't. Because I got a scholarship because I wanted to be an NFL player. Yep. Mm. So don't tell them that they can't do that or don't tell them that they want they should want to do more than that, even though they should. Yep. Mm-hmm. But once you get to college, determine that you can be more than football. At that mm-hmm. point. But let football pay for your school. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. Because you know what? At the same time, like especially like uh, cause it's a it's a fine line with like younger kids, yeah, right? Like, yeah. cause it's a fine line. Cause and, like on one hand, it's like this is all fun, this is all games, right? So you don't want to bore them to death with like social work or criminal justice or like changing generations or yeah. or accounting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't bore them with stuff like that. So that's a great point. Cause it's yeah. like no, have fun with this. Let yeah. this take you somewhere. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Cause right now all you need to be worrying about is having fun. Yeah, that's but it. college is when shit gets real. Yeah, yeah. or like, or, or maybe like yeah. senior year of high school start like coming right. That's like, when hey, it starts. Like, hey, shit hey, you starts know, to get real yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, and you gotta kind of focus on like, what am I gonna do after this? What you know, yeah. what exactly. path I'm gonna take while I'm in school? And that's what I was telling him. It's yeah. just like, yeah. when y'all gonna be like worrying about like paying back this debt? Yeah, I'm debt free. Yeah, yeah. because and, of your dreams. And, and I feel like went for. I feel like coming to college too can definitely be. I mean, I never, I never, I'm not in your shoes, so I maybe not, but. I feel like coming from like a high school, obviously, if you're going D1, you dominate in high school, you're doing great. But also like so in your mind, you're like, oh, NFL, I'm going to NFL. But when you go to college, I feel like it can be like a rude awakening. Like, OK, these people, are, these people are fucking good. Sure. And, you know, maybe in your back of your mind, you're like, OK, maybe I do need to start thinking about other things because maybe because, you know, when you're in high school, you can be on the top of the world. And yeah. when you get to college, it's kind of like you humble yourself. And you're right like, back. you know what? Yeah. Freshman yeah. year. So I feel like kind of yeah. you started thinking in your mind, like, OK, maybe it's not as easy going to the NFL as I originally thought. Is that like something that plays into it, too, maybe? Yeah, for sure. I feel like that can help you reflect. too. And, and it's the other thing, like, like, um, if you know, if you never went for that dream, then you never be like what you did made you great. Right, yeah, like even yeah. if you don't go to the NFL, right? Yeah. All these things you talking about doing that's gonna make a big impact yeah. is a catalyst from you playing football. Absolutely, yeah. right? Otherwise, you have the same mindset you had 
from Point Siena, mm-hmm. or you like you Tyron your senior year of Point Siena, like high school versus Tyron right now senior year after Bethune Cookman and the JUCO and everything you went through. That's yeah. a different man for sure, right? Yeah, and and because coming out, I just knew like, all right, I'm gonna do the bare minimum three years, and then I'm gone. Right, and I knew nothing about my culture. I I thought of myself as only a football player. Right, like now it like. Nothing pisses me off more than walking in an elevator or standing in a line at a restaurant and they're like, oh, you play football. It's like, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't. Yeah. Um, even though I do, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. no, I don't. I'm, uh, like, yeah, I'm about to be, uh, I'm in school to get my PhD yeah. for criminal justice. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, oh, oh. And he's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like yeah, bitch, man. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, leave me alone. But then, like, eventually I bring up, like, yeah, I do play football. I play tight end and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Because it gives me the opportunity to, like, shed the light on HBCUs, which I yeah. love. Hell yeah, So, man. Um, like, I, I encourage anybody to at least take a visit and try it. Like, if anybody out there watching that's, like, a younger viewer, like, take advantage of, like, just learning your um, your culture or, or just seeing, like, what it can what it can add to you. Because, like, as an athlete, I've heard, like, so many times that, like, uh, at the Big D one, it's like, oh, we didn't have to do this. We didn't have to do that. And, like, because they transfer into uh, to our schools, and they're like, oh, I never had to do it's this. It's different. Yeah, it's like, oh, I never had to do this. Somebody did it for me. Yeah. And in the real world, nobody's going to do anything exactly. for you. So in so many ways, even though we're like, ah, oh, Cookman's so broke. Ah, oh, Cookman, I never had to do this at LSU. I never mm-hmm. had to do this at Bama. I bet Bama don't go through this. But who's to say that these kids be, like, ready for the real world once they leave Nick Saban's office? Yeah. But who's to say they're even happy because you can't even talk to Saban? Yeah. Like, you can't just go to Nick Saban's office and talk no. to him. No, like, no, no. I, I, I highly doubt it. Yeah. But Terry Sims, my head coach at Bethune Cookman, you can talk to him. I can call him right now, and, and, and he'll pick up. Yeah. And we'll talk about anything, and he'll help me with anything. So, yeah. like, that's the things that you get. Like, yeah, we don't get the big TV deals. You don't see us on TV every Saturday. But that stuff like that is changing. Like Deion Sanders is changing that stuff. Word, word, so, word, word. Like I feel like we'll we'll start to get better and and just stop running from your dreams just because somebody else didn't make it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah. You can you can still make it and you, can, and you can be like that trailblazer. You can be the change. Hundred percent, man. It's like, like Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter. There you go. Yeah. There you go, man. They put. They, it seems like they put more value into the product of the person than the product of the player. Right, where mm-hmm. like these big schools like LSU, Alabama, and stuff like that, they're a hundred percent focused on the product of the player. Yeah, we need you to do this, execute this, hit this draft, boom, boom, boom. We're we're worried about our school being shown on like what happened the past couple of days on the draft and shit yeah. like that. Like that's what our focus is, right? Yeah, and it's like to to make the decision to go to a school that focuses more on the product of the player. You know what I mean? Like, I, I always reference fucking Netflix, man, but I've been watching Friday Night Lights, right? And uh-huh. Coach Taylor will, won't do shit for you. You know what I'm saying? Coach yeah. Taylor gonna make sure you do shit yourself. So when you go out into the real world, real world, you're fucking ready. Yeah, you're built for the it. coaches that you, like, know for the rest of your life. Nice. Like, I know my middle school basketball coach because he just, like, like harped on being a man. He didn't even pick me my, my seventh grade year when I was able to play. And, and it was just because I had, like, a D or something. Yeah. And he was just like, he like really taught you like how to be a man. Yeah. yeah. Just, like coaches like that, you respect and you, you just love for the rest of your life because of like the, the lessons they 100%, taught you. 100%, bro. Yeah. 100%, yeah. man. I, I like, I attribute a lot of growing up I did. I know, uh, like, like, you know, football, like, if, if those, especially those that don't have dads around and shit like that, you know what I mean? Ain't no better fucking. Not replacement, but substitute than a coach, bro. Like yeah, that's that's yeah. a good figure. That's a good mentor. I don't want to say father figure, but it's damn near a father figure. Like that's a good fucking mentor. Good. Some, sometimes sometimes a coach can be better father figure than what people actually have in their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. Yeah. But yeah, bro. Thanks for coming through, man. Uh, I hope. I hope we see you do big things, bro. Honestly. I know I know you're you're talking to some different yeah. teams, trying to do some different stuff, bro. I I hope that football dream comes true, man. You yes. know what Hell I mean? Yeah. I, we wanna see you play, we wanna see you at least working with some of these teams, man. Yeah. And it's good to hear this I mean, this is we don't talk much, so this is the first time here coming from, you know, you that like you you got your Goals just as high yeah. set outside of football, which is super dope. I would say yeah. higher. I yeah, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got yeah. a set, and it yeah. it allows you to just be that good in football, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. like don't get it twisted. Like, what if I'm on on the football field? Like when I'm Your playing focus. it, I, yeah, it's like, everything, and I want to be the best, best. to do it. Yeah. Absolutely, Even yeah. Like I, I I wouldn't play this game if I didn't want to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. So it like. 
that's just me though. Like yeah. whatever I do, I'm gonna do it like a hundred percent. But yeah, a little I, bit that's, of that. what, that's the vibe I got from you is that like everything that you're gonna do, you put your all into. You're not gonna half ass yeah. anything. That's yeah. what I got from it. And if I don't do it, then I I, I don't do it. It's yeah. not gonna like, break. I'm not about to go. I'm not about to go out here and try to fix my car. <laughs> nothing I, like I, I don't, yeah. I don't <laughs> exactly and I'll tell you straight up like yeah you're a man but like I'm, I'm not about to go out is. here and mess up something that I like I have no interest in yeah, yeah. like it's just certain stuff like that but yep. like I can teach anybody how to throw a ball or catch a ball yeah yep. and it's just like stuff like that like if I'm doing it I'm doing it if I'm not don't ask me oh, yeah. to do it yeah. I, yeah I don't know and yeah. I don't have any interest in it hell yeah bro uh, yeah. Yeah, man, that's dope, bro. I, th- I think, too, like, that might relieve some of the pressures because those that are in it for football and 100% football, any little thing, like, all these little things that you went through could have broke yeah, them a little that's bit. How, that's yeah. what I was but when you got outside, like, determinations, outside goals from it, it's like it's it doesn't phase you as much. Yeah, and that's yeah. a great thing you got going. And so on. a lot of people look at it like, oh, you don't care. Nah. It's, yeah. That's not the point. Yeah. But you're not about to, like, lower my standards or, or like, put me in this box. Yeah. That yeah, like this, all you can do, and once you don't do it, I'm fucked. Yeah, you're yeah. unsuccessful. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I nah. can be successful in anything I put my mind to. Hey man, you already Amen. a success coming out of master's here. Degree, Just master's on. degree, D one football, <laughs> you're, you're bro. I mean, already, bro. everything, everything is relative. I know the people you work out with and you running with, like you know where their goals are, you know where their standards are, but yeah. like everything is relative, bro. Because the people like us, like you playing D one football and getting your masters and shit like that, bro, that's a success already. In yeah, itself. you've already yeah. made it. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Man, that's super dope, bro. But yeah, man, thanks for coming through, dog. Yes, sir, yes, hey, so we're doing this Pocket Watch podcast. We're doing our weekly success and failure. We're doubling up this week, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna dig deep on this one. Uh, it's gonna be a little different. You got a weekly success and failure kind of thinking, maybe a little bit. You got to do it, bro. I'm success sorry. Success and failure. Yeah, yeah every monthly. week we do. A, yeah, every week we do a success and failure on our episode. So you can do like a monthly, a three month, an annual, whatever you want to do. We'll go first. Like so you can have yeah. something. Yeah. But uh, for me, uh, weekly success. Um, I want to say so. Like, if we drop this next week, I want to say I'm probably a weekend on my master's program, uh, because I start next week. I'm starting my master's program next week. Okay. Uh, I want to say, uh, success for me is yo. We've been doing this podcast for a year. We're going into our second year, and I feel like we're doing a bunch of different shit. I'm gonna be in my master's program and stuff, and like we're just banging these episodes out. And I feel like, um, like what we're doing for this podcast is not slowing down. It's just gonna heighten up. And yeah. I'm happy with doing these different things and uh, still pulling through, still following through with something that we decided to do a year ago. You know what I mean? That's a success for me. Yeah. Uh, failure is going to be um, uh, things at work are going real good, right? So good, it's almost too good. And sometimes that's where it's like you got to humble yourself. You got to put your head down. You got to keep, keep, you know, keep your shoulders down, keep running through things, keep working hard, keep showing up early because... I always feel like, for me, it's something about, like, what I've been through before. But it's like, when things are going good, that's when something bad's about to happen. You know yeah. what I mean? And I can't shake that feeling. So, like, I am I feel like I've been getting content mm-hmm. a little bit. And I want to start grinding. I want to keep grinding heavy and, and, and making sure I solidify what I've been accomplishing. Yeah. Uh, shit. Uh, my weekly success would be... For next week, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, tough. Can we just record? Right? Yeah, no. I mean, uh, my success would be, the, you know, just just you know, having a positive attitude, being able to to be happy, and be able to utilize that to make sure that I do what I got to do in my day and get everything done and achieve everything I want to achieve in that day. Yeah. You know, um, just keeping that positive mindset. And my my uh, failure. failure would be that. Uh, you know, I just got to listen more. You know, sometimes you, you, you don't tend to listen enough. You know, you tend to not be arrogant, but, you know, sometimes you can, you know, dismiss or like ignore. You know it all. Like, yeah, in a sense that you may know it all. You may, you know, then I don't feel like maybe we don't know everything. We don't. So, you know, it's always better just to listen a little bit more. And I need to do a little more of that. Um, so I'll start with a failure. Um, just because, like, like I was telling you guys uh, last week that, I've been working my ass off with everything, so that trying to trying to focus on everything I'm doing. I've been putting hella overtime in for everything I'm trying to do right now. But because of that, like uh, my relationship has kind of hindered. I haven't like spent like bro, I barely even see my girl. Like, but my, she's cool with that because she's yeah. grinding right now. That's too. what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. My my girl's grinding. Uh, this episode's going to drop the week after she graduates, so that's going to be fucking dope. Um, so congrats, congr- yeah, congrats, congratulations, Melissa, for that. You killed that shit. Proud of what you did. Um, but. 
Um, that's, that's definitely my failure is that we've both been kind of grinding, so it's definitely kind of hindered our relationship. We don't really see each other, so that's the failure on that. My success, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come up with one, to be honest, because we just, we just dropped that. And this week, man, all I did was just work, work, work. But I will say I'm going to do kind of like over like a, like a kind of like a little checkup for like the year, like a quarterly or I guess like a, a third of re- uh, review. But like I'm just happy with what I'm doing, man. Like I'm just happy with where my mind is at, how I've been hustling for the year. I've been putting hella work in. I've been sacrificing. Bro, it's already made, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I've been, sa- I've been sacrificing a lot, man, to, to, to be where I want to be in the next couple months. And I'm setting myself up for like a, a heavy foundation. And um, it, right now, like what I'm going through is going to put me back in life in the overall picture, but in the long run, it's going to propel me multiple, like in the multitude of where I was going to be at in the yeah. long run. So it's just like sacrificing now for the future. So that's my success for that. Um, I'll start with my failure. My failure would would have to be like failing to relax, man. Um, yeah, okay. I just have to like it, it, I be so caught up into like, trying to be great. And working out every day and doing this and doing that and just like did I work out hard enough? Did I put enough in? And in reality, I, when I look back at it, like when I finally take the time to relax and I look back at it, I was just like, yeah, you just worked your ass off. <laughs> so like just yeah. just chill, like yeah. like relax, like it'll all take yeah. care of itself. And um, my success would would be like I'm I'm from New Bern, North Carolina, and I never really thought that I would be in this situation. Like yeah, I played this game and. Everybody told me that, like, yeah, you would get a lot out of it. But my success would definitely be where I'm at today. Yeah. Um, like, I talked to the Rams today. I, I talked to the USFL earlier this week. Um, I actually got a contract coming um, soon. So y'all like the first people to know that. Woo! Hell oh, yeah, yeah, bro. So, um, Congratulations like for that, man. Yes, sir. That's a lot, like a lot of where my success is coming from. And, um, like, I'm just so happy to be in, in the shoes that I'm in because I never expected any of it. Um, I just put the work in, and I'm I'm reaping a lot of the benefits now, and it's Hell just yeah. so crazy, like it's so surreal. Yeah, yeah man, good, good, yeah. congrats, bro. Hell yeah, that's just big, bro. Yeah. That's just big. like even that, like I I don't acknowledge it, but like I have to thank God for just being Absolutely. in that situation, like yes, with the sir. USFL, and, yep. like even though it's not the NFL, and I don't even want to say even though it's not the NFL it's because it, it's like such a blessing yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, to be a professional athlete. Mm-hmm. Like that's exactly what I am. Yep. So mm-hmm. it's just like. It's crazy. Like, you can't beat it. Yeah, it's yeah, blessings, bro. man. Yeah. Blessings. Hell yeah. You saw, you saw the guy at USFL that got, like, fired or something because he was eating pizza or yeah, something like that? Uh, yeah. Oh, was that the post yeah. video? Yeah. I, I don't know, one. bro. I, that <laughs> bro, shit just popped up in my mind, bro. Anyways, anyways. Yeah. But hell yeah. Appreciate you having you on. Pocket Watch Out. Pocket Watch Out.